Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. For a given AP, if you have to find the nth term, that is denoted by an is nothing but a plus n minus 1. See the AP I have showed you is nothing but a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, a plus 4d and so on. Correct? This term is called a1, this is a2, this is a3, that is third term, this is fourth term, this is fifth term and this is minute, so on. Now, if we have to find the general formula, what we do? Here you see observation, what if you see a1 I can write as nothing but a1 is 8 that is a plus this is 1, 1 minus 1 into d that is 0 into d. a2 if you see I can write as a plus here 2 I will put here 2 minus 1 into d. a3 I can write as nothing but a plus 3 minus 1 into d. Why? Because a3 is a plus 2d. Similarly, a4 I can write as a plus 4 minus 1d. And a5 I can write as nothing but a plus 5 minus 1d. Correct? So, if you see that, if I want to write a common formula, I can write a n as nothing but a plus, because in all the formula a is common, plus is common. And here if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is nothing but by the value of n, a plus n, 1 is common here, n minus 1 into d. See from this only I am adding, a1 is a plus 1 minus 1d, a plus is, a2 is a plus 2 minus 1d, a3 is a plus 3 minus 1d. So we have this, this we know, this is the common notation for a AP. From this we observe that for any term a n, an is nothing but a plus n minus 1. This is my general formula. Practically we can implement also. I will give you an example. So let's suppose we have this lady. Her name is let's suppose uh, Sita. Sita gets a salary of let's suppose 1000 rupees per month. And every month she gets increment of 100 rupees. So we have seen that such scenario is an AP. So her salary will be after first year will be 1000. Second will be 1100 and then it will be 1200, then it will be 1300 and then it will be 1400. Why? After every year, she is getting an increment of 100 rupees. Correct? So the salary is in this form. Now, let's suppose I want to find her salary in third year. So I'll say A3 is nothing but A plus N is equal to 3 minus 1 into D d is 100 that will be 1000 plus 2 into 100 and that will be 1200 and if you see this value and this value which we got is same in the series also if you find our salary is something like this 1000 1100 1200 1300 of this form so after three years her salary is this much and using my formula also we are getting our salary is same that is 1200 so we can see that the formula is correct. Please remember this formula is a very crucial formula. For any AP, term AN is A plus N minus 1D, where A is the first term, N is this N, which is AN, and D is the common difference. So till now what we have concluded? The conclusion is, for any AP, AN is A plus N minus 1D, where AN is nth term, A is first term, N is the value of N, and D is the common difference. An is also called the general term of AP and if there are m terms in AP then AM represents the last term obviously because there is an m term only let's suppose there are 5 terms only in the AP right let's suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this is also AP actually with the common difference 1 there are only 5 term then the, this term will be the last term so AM will represent the last term and the last term is denoted by, let's take my example, here we have to fill in the blanks. We have been given A, D and A, N. 
and some things are missing actually. So in the first part, this is first, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, and this is fifth, let's suppose. An is missing. The formula we know that An is A plus N minus 1D. This formula we know. Correct. So An is equal to A plus N minus 1D. So A is 7 here, given here. Plus N is 8 here. 8 minus 1. And D is 3 here. Correct. So this becomes 7 plus 7 into 3, that is 7 plus 21, that is nothing but 28. So, a n is 28. Now, second also we will use the same formula. a n is a plus n minus 1d. a n is minus 18, minus 18 is equal to a, sorry, a n is 0. a n is 0, this is 0, is equal to a is minus 18 plus n, let's repeat this, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1d, a n is nothing but 0, 0 is equal to a is nothing but minus 18 plus n is nothing but 10, 10 minus 1 into d, correct? So, I will get d is equal to 18 by 9 that is 2 so d is equal to 2 is my answer in part 3 if you see I like it here again a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d a n is equal to minus 5 given here is equal to a is not given plus n is 18 given here minus 1 into d is minus 3 given. Correct? So I will get a is nothing but 17 into 3 by 17 into 13 plus, well, this is minus 5. So this becomes 51 minus 5, that is 46. So this is 46. Let's take this fourth example. An is equal to a plus n minus 1d. Same formula I will use. Here An is equal to 36 given 3.6. It's equal to a is minus 18.9 plus n minus 1 we have to find into d. d is 2.5. Or we get n minus 1 is nothing but 3.6 plus 18.9 by 2.5. This is nothing but 22.5 by 2.5. We get this is equal to 9 actually, or we get n is equal to 10. So here we have n is equal to 10. Let's take the last scenario. Again, we'll do the same formula. An is equal to a plus n minus 1d. Here an is not given. A is given 3.5 plus N is given 105, not 5 minus 1 into D is 0. This will become 0. So A AN will come out to be 3.5 itself. So this is 3.5. Thus we have filled all the blanks. Very simple, just use the formula A N is equal to A plus N minus 1. Please remember this formula, very crucial formula. A N is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Correct, where a n is the nth term, a is the first term, n is the, let's take some example, we have to find the nth term of this ap. Now, looking at the ap, we can say that a is equal to 10 and the difference is 3, actually minus 3. So, d is equal to minus 3. Correct. So, we know that a is equal to 10 and d is equal to minus 3. This thing we know. Now very simple, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d, correct? a is 10 plus n is nothing but 30, we are trying for 30, a 30, 30 minus 1 into t is minus 3, that is 10 plus 
29 into minus 3 that is nothing but 10 minus 87 and that's come out to be minus 77. So we can say that 30th term of this AB will be minus 77. Very simple we found the value of A, we found the value of D. We use the formula An is equal to A plus N minus 1D to get the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.